Alright, hello and welcome to a new video on the Classic Gamer X11 channel. Today I'm playing some Revolt. I'm going to do the Bronze Cup. Playing on simulation difficulty as well, which is the hardest difficulty to play. It means the cars control realistically, which means I'm going to spin out about a hundred times. I've not actually played this game for a good amount of years. I just thought, uh, you know, boot it up, see how it plays. How badly can it go? I'm going to play as the Vulcan Turbo, which is probably the best car out of the amateur cars. So one, go, go, go. It's go, go, go. Vulcan Turbo takes out a competitor. Whoops, sorry, Harvester. Fat Slug now behind me. I love the name Fat Slug. It's like a name for a car. Fat Slug. Whoa. Very drifty there. Yeah. On realistic mode, the cars do drift a lot. I kind of don't even remember the way around these tracks at all. I basically just booted this up and, you know, thought I'd make a video out of it. Because why not? I like racing games. I like racing cars around neighbourhoods. As long as there's no neighbourhood kids to annoy me. Hope they don't get in the way. Right, that's a bowling ball type thing where you can play it behind you. Deal with that, suckers! Yeah, I do like, you know, combat style racing games, though. Know, arcade, you know, kart races like Crash Team Racing. Firework time! But Hobbs have got back up into second place. I've got a bit of an advantage, but it can just go completely tits up any minute now. I can just make an easy, simple mistake. This car's not too bad control. It's when you get to, you know, Cougar and um, Toy Sekka and cars like that where it becomes almost uncontrollable in simulations. So they're just so far. Remember this tunnel I have some problems with in the past. Nicely driven. Look at this. Look at me being professional all good at driving. I should drive... <laughs> I was going to say, I should drive RC cars for a living, but then I go crash. I didn't actually um, have an RC car when I grew up. It was a Subaru Impreza rally car. A nice little um, remote control car. Also had one that went off-road. Apart from it didn't really go, didn't really work off-road. It wouldn't drive in, you know, mud and it wouldn't even go over like a little twig. Which maybe it wasn't really designed to do. But as a kid I thought, you know, oh my god. I surely I could drive this on mud and it would work, but it didn't. And it got stuck. Oh no. Right, how far am I ahead now? 120 meters ahead. I believe that's meters, it's not miles. That would be insane. It's got to be meters, it's got to be. I mean, this whole neighborhood's not even like a mile long. But yeah, the Bronze Cup is the easiest though, so I would not expect the AI to be any good. I'm going 29 miles an hour. It's left, wasn't it? Oh. I think that's the fake one I just put down. Yeah, there's, there's um, power-ups where you can put down the fake power-ups. Apart from I always forget that I put down a fake power-up. And usually the AI don't really go for them. At least I've not seen any dogs about as well. If like, a dog was to attack my car, that'd be pretty annoying. Oops, into the tunnel I go. E-I-E-I-E-I-O. Should I be naughty? I'm going to be very naughty and put some oil down right there. Deal with that, you arsehole! Even though you're miles behind, hope that oil won't still... I bet that oil will still be there when I come back on my last lap. Is someone not even a rock at me? There's nobody anywhere near me. Don't be naughty. Now, where's that fake power-up? Just in case nobody's, you know, hit it yet. I think I placed it down here, didn't I? Looks like it's disappeared, if that's where I placed it. <laughs> Or is this the fake one? No, nope, that's a real one. Oh no, I don't know anymore. The yeah, AI occasionally do um, place fake ones as well. This is the super speed power up. Oh my god, I'm going 40 odd miles per hour. I'm literally breaking the speed limit. Wow! There's also a power up where you can get which um, turns your car into a bomb, which isn't, it's not really a good power up, but you can. Um, switch it to other cars if you um, hit them. So if you tag them, that will um, give them the bomb power up. There's also a star on the top of that car, but I can't really get that star unless I have a really, really fast car. Even then, that's probably the hardest star to get. If you get the star, you can freeze the whole screen for every other driver. It's only like, only freezes for maybe one, two seconds. 
so it's usually not even slightly worth it. Whoops, had a bit of an accident again. Let some oil down for them, even though they're not even going to reach me. So that's race one. I think there are three or maybe four races in each um, championship. I think there might be four. There we go. Bum in first place. Absolutely thrash them. Take that, Harvester, Sprinter, and Fat Slug. Continued championship. Then I am playing as Vulcan Turbo. Yes, two out of four. Supermarket two. Lovely. I don't remember Supermarket two, though. That I think I do. Is it the one with the warehouse? Yes, it is this one. It's the one with the slippery warehouse. Go, go again! They've all gone to the right for some reason. I'm just going straight down the middle. This one's a lot harder to win. I definitely remember this one being a lot more challenging. Right, I'm going to place that there. Hopefully, someone will hit that. Yeah, this bit is. I remember I played this also on PC, and I've got to admit, on PC, the game is a lot more uncontrollable. The cars just slide everywhere. On the PS1 version, it seems very nice, very controllable. That warehouse is an absolute nightmare on PC. Outside it goes. Up the ramp. Nice little supermarket race here. It's not a bad little circuit. It's a very short one. So this race will be over in like about two minutes or so. But probably the most memorable memorable track on the game is um, Titanic. Which is, you know, a race on the, um, the actual Titanic is about to hit an iceberg. Also, probably the hardest track as well, but definitely the most memorable one. Especially, it's very memorable if you're going for the time trials, especially the reverse time trial. Oh my word. Along with the botanical gardens, reverse mirrored botanical gardens can absolutely go to hell. Trying to unlock cars by doing the time trials is absolutely horrendous. Wait, I'm actually lapping somebody. Well, I'm not, because I've just crashed. And now I've just blown up. Oh no! Luckily I know how to um, turn turtle. I was trying to catch him up so I could um, pass on the bomb to him, but I absolutely cocked up the corner. Round the corner I go, I've got speed boost, but I don't know where to use it. I'll wait for the longest straight, which is just around here, I think. Should be able to get some speed as long as I go through these gates. Wow! <laughs> That's a bit of a disadvantage with um, the speed boost. It does make your car very uncontrollable. Right, there's Sprinter XL. Having an absolute nightmare. I've absolutely lapped him within three laps. How embarrassing for you. Who is driving that car? Silly. Yeah, I'll probably split this video into um, two parts, else it'll be a bit too long. But there will be a part two of this championship that will come out later on. Maybe next week. Depending on when you watch this, it might already be uploaded, which would be nice. But yes, come up to the end of the race now. A very, very comfortable victory yet again. I've got another bomb. I don't want to beat the bomb. I'm 169 meters ahead of a fat slug. Oh dear. Right, first place. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Fat Slug second, Harvester then Sprinter XL. So there will be a part two, so watch out for that. But for now, take care and goodbye.